Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to make a three-dimensional hallway or a tunnel depending on how you look at it. Uh, I'm going to start by making a square in the middle of my paper and then if I had a ruler I'd be using one but I'm using a box right now to make straight lines so I'm going to use the corners of the square that I just drew and have them connect to the corners of my paper. And I'm going to do that for all four corners. Just from the corner of my square to the corner of my paper. Just like that. So next, I'm going to be drawing straight lines that are coming off the sides of my square. So there's four sides and I'm making a dot in the middle of those sides. So I'm just going from the middle of my first side of my square to the edge of the paper, the middle of that side to that edge of the paper, middle of that side to the edge, and the middle of this side of the square to the top edge. There we go. So next, you're going to make a dot in between every line that you drew, just like this. So you see I put those two dots right there. I'm going to put two dots right here in between these lines, two dots right here, and then two dots right here. And that's going to be on each side of your square. And I'm going to draw another line that goes from the square to the edge of the paper. And I'm going to do that for all the sides. So the dot going this way, that going that way, making those lines. I'm also making my lines slightly tilted, kind of like the lines that are um, the corner lines connecting the corner of the square to the corner of the paper. I'm just going from, again, the square to the edge, the square to the edge, and I'm doing that for all of my dots. And if any of this is confusing, feel free to rewind the video and watch this step again. I know this can be a little tricky. All right, two more, just have one more side. So from this edge to here, and from this dot of the square to the edge of the paper. There you go. So you can see right now I have a lot of lines coming off of here. So next, you're gonna see how these four lines are touching that side of the square and these four lines are touching that side of the square. So I'm basically making another square that's a little bigger than the first square that I drew. I'm going to do that a few times. You see I put a little bit of space in between them. And then this next one, I'm going to draw another square, but it's going to be a little bit farther away than the first one that I drew. So the space in between the lines are going to be a little bigger. I'm just drawing a line that goes over those four lines and connecting them to make that square. So this next square is going to be even a little farther away than the last square that I drew. And you can see this square is getting really big. And again, it's touching the same one, two, three, four lines. And one, two, three, four lines on like the bottom of the square. And if you look at this, it looks kind of more like it's the tunnel now or like the hallway. Um, if you kind of use your imagination and pretend that this is three-dimensional, um, it should look like that to you. Now, I'm going to start to color in my tiles, because they kind of almost look like the tile of, like, maybe a kitchen floor or maybe a bathroom floor. And I'm making a blue and white pattern. So I'm just going blue, white, blue, white, blue, white. Again, I'm just coloring in blue, and white's already the color of the paper, so I can leave that blank. And then next, on the inside of the tunnel, or where the tunnel ends, um, I'm going to draw a person. So I'm just going to make like a little stick figure person. So I'm drawing the head, the body. So this is just someone maybe falling down the tunnel or at the end of the hallway. Drawing their arms, their legs. Also going to give them a face. And we're like, oh no, I'm falling down the tunnel. And then I'm also going to color in the space around this person. 
And then when you're done, just double check your work, make sure you're happy with it. And that's how you make this project. Bye, everyone.